Hi there, from FPSBuddy.com. This is video number three, and this one we're going to show you how to use the Halo 3 respawn timer on your mobile device. Uh, here we have the uh, Verizon XV6800 Windows Mobile 6.0 phone. You can also use Windows Mobile 5.0, and I think all the way back to 2003. As long as you can get Flash Player for it, you can use our, our respawn timer. Uh, here's just a little sample of what, how it looks on your screen. We, as you can see, you got uh, three rows of different kind of uh, objects. You can you can hit, and you can do more than one at a time just by clicking it. Or actually, I made it finger friendly, so you just tap it with your finger. Bam, 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 bam. So e easy to turn on and off. Uh, simple. You don't need the stylus, so you don't need to pick up the stylus every time you want to start a timer. I know it's hard. while you you know you got to drop the controller with one hand for just a second. So all right, now we're getting to, to the loading of the game, as you can see. It uh, looks like it might be last resort unless it gets vetoed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the original screen where you select your where you select your um, map and game type. Oop, I'm gonna click the wrong thing. All right. So let's see if it gets uh, vetoed. So just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna go ahead and click last resort on Team Slayer game type. All right. We're not getting too many vetoes just yet, which is a good thing. Now normally, all right, we're gonna play. All right, normally I would put this on my lap, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to set it up right under the screen so you can kind of see how it works. Hopefully, you'll be able to tell. So I'm just going to send this, and it's going to open up my list of different respawn timers. All right, now the game started. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the. Let's see what I got. Let's go ahead and grab a battle rifle. Make sure I have no enemies around. Oop, that guy just took my battle rifle. All right, that guy's dead. I right, grab the battle rifle and then click it right here. Start the 15 second timer. So we just sit back and wait for it to come up. There's my 10 second warning. Alright, should come up in about 3 seconds. There it is, 3 seconds. Now it came up a little early because I hit the button a little earlier. Or it came up, or you know. But you get the idea. That's basically how you use it in game. Um, Obviously, the battle rifle is not the most important weapon to track. However, you can tell how important it would be for a, a rocket launcher, sword, shotgun, uh, anything like that. Even vehicles. You can track anything with this. Vehicles, objects, you know, bubble shields, regenerators, uh, all the important objects in the game. Oop. All right. And with that uh, depressing shotgun death, I'm going to end this video. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it for video three. So, uh... Thank you for watching. Come check us out at fpsbuddy.com. That's FPS as in first-person shooter, buddy.com. See you there.